A big donation earlier this evening for a woman who has needed a wheelchair for the last 30 years. First News reporter Catherine Simon was in Salem for the big surprise. Elizabeth Shank has been trying to get a specialized off-road wheelchair for 10 years. Today, that dream came true. It means the world. Of course, I'll cry. It's something I've been working on for many years to try to get. A car crash 30 years ago left her paralyzed from the waist down. And about two years after that, she met her now husband and took up hunting as a hobby with him. I like to, to shoot, um, target shooting, trap shooting, um, a, a lot of stuff. But the wheelchair she uses day to day makes it difficult to get through the woods. She had been trying to fundraise to get a specialized track chair, but wasn't having much luck until a group of local organizations stepped in to help. We put it out there and boy, it just got, after we put out the information about how her injuries happened and how long it had been since she'd been confined to a wheelchair. The groups and donors raised $24,000 over the last year and a half and presented her with a check that would pay for the custom built wheelchair earlier tonight. It's like a wheelchair only on tracks like you would see on a bulldozer or something like that. It can go up and down rough terrain. Little did Shank know the chair and a custom trailer to haul it were already waiting for her outside. I can get out into the woods more. I won't need as much help. Um, to get out into the woods. I'll need probably some, but I'm able to be more independent with this. For Shank, the new chair will help her do one of her favorite things, spend time outside. And for the donors, Nelson says it was worth every penny. In Salem, Katherine Simon, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.